Look number one features a royal blue suit. Royal blue is an extremely popular color, very modern, and it's a great alternative to the more classic darker navy blue, which you'll see later on in this video. Jacket styling is very traditional here. It's a two button notch lapel with flap pockets. And then we've kept the rest of the outfit super classic as well. A simple white shirt paired with a navy striped tie, which contrasts just the right amount with the blue of the suit. White pocket square done with a presidential fold and then finished off with a pair of dark brown Oxford shoes. An easy wedding suit look that's classic with a modern sensibility. Moving on to look number two, the first of two looks we're showcasing that feature a medium gray suit. For this one, doing something very sleek, clean, and minimal, always a great way to look sharp and focus attention on your bride. This jacket, as you can see, is two button, flat pockets, and a peaked lapel and a simple white shirt paired with a black grenadine tie. A grenadine tie is a great way to subtly add a little bit of texture and visual interest to a suit. Keeping with that minimalist approach here, we've got a white pocket square and some black Oxford shoes pulling in the black of the tie. Clean, simple, and cohesive, great for an evening event. Look number three now, our second look featuring a classic medium gray suit. This time though, adding in a little bit of color via the burgundy tie. A deep burgundy like this is a really rich color and pairs very easily with gray. The tie also has a very simple pattern in the form of the white dots. And if you zoom in, you can also see the subtle pattern in the fabric, which is a nice little detail that adds some texture and visual interest. Pulling in the burgundy of the tie with the colored edge of the pocket square, and also with the double monk strap shoes that anchor the outfit. A classic look with a rich and elegant pop of color. Next, moving on to look number four with our dark navy suit, and this is the first of three looks featuring this particular suit. For this one, we're keeping it clean, minimal, and more or less monochromatic. Always an easy way to make a very powerful statement. Classic styling on the jacket, again, with two buttons, a notch lapel, and flap pockets. Crisp white shirt paired with a navy grenadine tie, adding in that subtle texture along with a very subtle herringbone you can see in the suit fabric. Going with a white silk pocket square with a puff fold, and then finishing this look off with a pair of black Oxfords. This is a very elegant and formal way to style a dark navy suit. For look number five, we're taking the same suit, but bringing the formality of it down a couple notches in three specific ways. First, the tie. The contrasting lighter gray color makes it feel a lot less formal than the previous look, while the classic stripe keeps it looking appropriately dressed up. Second, the pocket square. Instead of the puff fold, which I always find to be a bit more formal feeling, we're doing a presidential fold and showing off the edge. And third, instead of black shoes, we're going with a dark brown Oxford. Overall, still very dressy, though not quite as formal. Look number six, our third and final look featuring the dark navy suit, is one that shows you how you can incorporate a bolder pattern tie into a more formal outfit. This particular plaid pattern is known as a Prince of Wales check, and one of the things I really like about it is that, although up close it does seem rather bold, from a distance, it doesn't have that effect. So it stands out, but not too much. Keeping the entire outfit monochromatic with the blue of the tie pattern playing really nicely with the ice blue shirt, a white silk pocket square with a puff fold playing into the formality, and then black Oxfords to finish it off. A simple way to add some personality via a single standout piece. Look number seven is for those of you who may be considering a double-breasted suit, and we've got a really classic navy double-breasted suit. I feel like a double-breasted suit gives off the feeling of a lot of confidence and power, and if you're comfortable with it, it's a great way to do something a little different. Now, playing into the power aspect of it with the shirt choice, we're going with a classic Bengal stripe shirt with a contrasting collar, mixing in some more stripes with the tie. Now, if you're gonna be mixing the same type of patterns together, always make sure they're different sizes. You can see the stripe of the tie is thinner than the stripe of the shirt. Simple white pocket square, and anchored by a pair of brown double monk strap shoes. Another double-breasted suit for look number eight, and we're featuring a brown double-breasted suit. I always consider brown to be a great alternative to navy and gray, as it's also a neutral color, which makes it very easy to pair with a variety of other colors. It's a great choice if you want to get away from something super classic in the color realm. However, 
We are keeping it monochromatic here. Remember, monochromatic, an easy way to make a big, impactful statement with the addition of a striped brown tie. Simple white shirt and classic white pocket square providing some punch and contrast. And then we're going with some brown double monk strap shoes once again. We're going a little more casual with look number nine and a khaki cotton suit. The khaki suit is pretty much the ultimate casual suit option. So if you're looking to dial down the formality but do want to wear a suit, this is a great choice. Gotta make sure the rest of the outfit does match that reduced level of dressiness. And here, we're doing that in a couple ways. First, instead of a solid color shirt, we've got a classic striped shirt. And then with a tie, this is a silk knit tie with squared off blades. One of the best, more casual feeling tie options. Just a simple white pocket square and then a more casual derby shoe in a walnut color to finish it off. Finally, for look number 10, another more casual styling option featuring a light gray suit. Light gray, perfect for daytime events and like a khaki suit, a natural choice for something with a more casual feel. Here, we've got a classic blue shirt paired with a medallion print tie, and notice how the colors in the tie complement the rest of the outfit as we have both blues and grays. This type of consideration really helps contribute to an extremely cohesive overall look. Keeping it on the more casual side also with the patterned pocket square with the bunny ears fold, and then a classic pair of dark brown oxfords anchoring this look. So there you have it, 10 looks for some wedding suit inspiration. So many different ways to style a suit, but hopefully these have started to get you thinking about what would work best for your wedding and your own personal style. Feel free to copy these exactly or modify to what you like best. If you have any specific questions about things that would work or wouldn't work, be sure to let me know.